Hello, hi, it's me, Eliza B. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Eliza Vidal. Thank you for clicking this video. And if not, thank you for returning. So for today's video, this video is gonna be a sit down and talk video. And I'm gonna be sharing to you guys some of the tips that I learned based on my experiences regarding productivity and how to waste less time. And ayoko na pahaba yung intro. If you're interested in this video, just keep on watching. First is to make plan. This is the most common and yet the most efficient way to be productive in a daily basis. Make a plan, start journaling, make a to-do list, or kahit wala kang journal, pwede kang kumuha ng notebook or any paper wherein you can, you can set an itinerary. This is very mandatory and it will increase your productivity every day and it will allow you to see your main focus. Making a plan will give you a sense of accomplishment to check an item in your planner or in your journal and that sense of accomplishment will allow you to be more motivated and to do more tasks. I will give you an example guys where in dito ko nilalagay lahat ng mga to-do list ko. Dito ko sinusulat lahat ng mga kailangan kong gawin and yung mga need ko i-accomplish within the day. Every time na nakikita ko yung list ng mga gawain ko and nachechekan ko yung each item Merong ease of satisfaction na natapos ko na to so kailangan ko na manggawin tong isang parang ganun. Making a plan will make your priorities more organized and manageable. And it will set your most important priorities rather than the less important. Also guys, na-realize ko na every time na sineset ko lang sa utak ko yung mga need ko i-accomplish, hindi ko siya nagagawa ng maayos and hindi ko nakikita yung progress which is yun yung maganda if meron kang Plan, you will able to track your progress and at the same time it will give you a sense of satisfaction na natapos mo na yung task na ito. Sa paggawa ng to-do list, merong iba't ibang way. Pwede mong i-write down yung daily to-do list mo, your weekly to-do list, your monthly to-do list and it will help your mind to be more organized and wala ka nang ibang iisipin kasi lahat naka-list down na. Second is to minimize your distractions. Ito yung pinaka problema sa atin lahat kasi once na merong nag-pop up na notifications sa cellphone or merong nag-message, yun yung nagiging reason kung bakit tayo nagiging distracted and kung bakit nawawala tayo sa momentum. And I suggest if you really want to focus on your study and to focus on your work, it is much better to turn off your phone or to, to silent your phone. Ang ginagawa ko every time na may ginagawa ako dito, ay nandito ako sa study table ko. Lagi kong pinapatay yung wifi sa phone ko. In that way, wala akong marinig na any notifications or hindi mag-open yung phone ko and may magpapap na notification. And guys, your environment is really important. Next is to organize your study place or your workplace. For me, this is also one of the main distractions sa atin. Every time na hindi na organize yung place natin kasi instead na mag-focus tayo in our study or in our work, magkakaroon tayo ng urge na mag-arrange na lang instead na mag-aral. Hindi ko sinasabing ako yon pero ako nga yun. <laughs> When everything is organized, it is much easier to focus on your work. It is much better if minimal lang yung mga things na nasa table mo or yung nasa harapan mo every time na mag-aaral ka. Yung mga gamit sa environment natin is magiging reason din ng distraction. Kaya it is much better if minimal talaga yung mga gamit. Next is to practice the SMART goal. SMART means specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. Ito natutunan ko to no senior high school. When setting up a goal, you need to define it specifically, set a way to measure the progress on it, and make sure it's realistic and attainable. And lastly is to set a deadline. Ito yung main problem sa atin. Every time na may deadline, ginagawa natin siya mismo ng day of deadline. Minsan ganun ako pero hindi ko tinotolerate sa sarili ko. Make sure na ginagawa nyo yung activities nyo 3 days or 5 days before the deadline para with quality talaga yung work. Next is surround yourself with the people who have the same goal as you. You need to choose your friend wisely. You need to choose your friends who have the same ambition, same goal, and same mindset. And in that way, it will help you to inspire each other and to motivate each other. Kasi sino yung mga friends na nakasurround sa atin, yun yung nagde-define if 
what kind of person you are and, and what kind of personality you have. Last but not the least, stop relying on motivation, just do an action. Ito yung pinaka-pinaka importante na realize ko na iniisip ko na unmotivated ako within the day. Hindi ko lang siya ginagawa ng action kaya hindi ako kumikilos. Once I feel that I do not like to do anything, I'm just pushing myself. Pero I'm not saying na wala tayong rights na maging unmotivated. Siyempre meron tayong mga iba't ibang personal reasons or mga personal problems na magiging cause na pagiging unmotivated natin. And we, need to develop, and we need to develop our discipline and willpower. That's it for today's video. If you have any content suggestions, you are free to comment below. See you guys on my next video. Bye!